Hello, my name is Kyungwon Kim. From today, we'll start the Doctor's Tip Easy Hands-On program. Doctor's Tip Easy Hands-On will cover mainly the Austin kits with hands-on and discussions with you through this type of broadcasting. This is the first lecture. We will cover the Austin surgical drilling kit. In fact, recently we use a lot of paper fixtures. So in the past, paper drills to place paper fixtures were developed. Lately, it is made more advanced to be optimized for implants like TS3. The taper drills are in the 1 to 2 taper kit. In the past, we used to play straight body type implants using the straight drills. It used to be the Hanaro kit, and now we have the 1, 2, 3 straight kit. Next, today, when the residual alveolar bone in the posterior mandible is not sufficient, we use a 485 kit to place short implants. The drills in the 485 kit have tips flattened like the cast drill to protect the inferior alveolar nerve. I will explain the 485 kit at another opportunity. The most widely used surgical kit today is the tapered type, optimized for TS3. It is a 1 to 2 tapered drill. Let's find out what it is. 1 to 2 taper kit is, um, as I said before, optimized taper drills for taper fixtures like a TS3. It is designed for optimal insertion torque, even for poor bone quality. First, the procedure is very simple and easy. Besides the initial drill, if you use a taper drills about two times, any fixture can be placed regardless of the bone quality. The procedure is that simple. That leads to the reduced chair time. Second, characteristic is that, as I said before, it is designed to achieve the optimized insertion torque. The drill design is not just tapered, but has multi-steps to get the most stable insertion torque. Also, it is uh, more advanced than the tapered drill. The cutting efficiency is very high as it minimizes the heat generation during the drilling procedure. That means, compared with the tapered kit, the heat is definitely less generated, which is verified by a test. Now, uh, let's briefly have a look at uh, the components of 1 to 2 taper kit. 1 to 2 taper kit has broadly three kinds of tools. Number one in red is the basic drilling tools to, to make the holes. And number two, mount the driver or fixture drivers to install fixtures. Number three, assembling tools are to connect abutments or prosthesis. They are composed of uh, hand drivers or torque wrench drivers. First, among the drilling tools, the most basic uh, drill would be the side cut drill. This side cut drill is designed to be used as an initial drill. It is to make or mark a hole on the alveolar bone with a sharp tip for easy initial drilling. Just like a lens drill, it can be used as a initial drill as well as lens drill. So the doctors can control the, the drilling depth according to the marking lines. Lens drill, initial drill, and side cut drill are combined into one drill. Number two, uh, this is a rather conventional one, lens drill plus a twist drill. Basically, in the past, we did a lot of uh, drilling using the lens drill. 
So the lens drill is available uh, to make or mark a hole position. 2.2 twist drill is also available. Using this, uh, we can do the initial drilling. As I said before, if you are not skilled in using side cut drill, uh, twist drill can be used for initial drilling. Uh, diameter 2.2 straight drill. Initial drill can be used on a soft bone. 3.0 fixture can be placed using this as a final drill. The most important drill in the kit is the 1 to 2 taper drill. This optimizes the multi step taper shape drill for taper body fixture, like TS3. It's an optimized uh, taper drill design for optimal insertion torque. The drills are color coded uh, depending on the diameters of the fixtures. 3.5 taper drill has the color of yellow, 4.0 green, 4.5 blue, 5.0 red. So when you use the desired fixture, you can choose the drill easily. For example, if you are to place 4.5 fixture, 4.5 drill is uh, to be used as a final drilling. But if the bone quality is very hard, 4.5 drill is not good enough. So in the past, the cortical removal drill was used. But in this the 1 to 2 taper drill, one size bigger one, 5.0 taper drill can be used to place a 4.5 fixture on a hard bone for optimal initial torque. To place 4.5 fixture uh, on a soft bone, uh, 3.5 drill can be used. Uh, later, I will discuss about this more uh, in the hands-on uh, by measuring the insertion torque, the ISQ values. As I said before, this is the taper cortical drill. Uh, for hard bone, uh, over token could be created, so the cortical bone can be removed with this. Uh, people used to use this, so if you want, uh, this can be purchased as an option um, for one to two taper kit. So this can be used to remove the cortical bone. The next one is the parallel pins. Uh, it has been around from before, especially in one to two taper kit. There are two types of uh, parallel pins. Uh, the straight one on the left is to verify the path or angulation of drill hole after side cut drilling as um, initial drilling. So the path and angulation can be verified with that. On the other hand, 2.2 drilling after that, uh, the path can be verified. Also, uh, after 3.5 taper hole, the hole is uh, tapered. The yellow parallel pin on the right hand side can be inserted. Before the final drilling, the drill hole position and angulation can be checked or modified. So, we have two types of parallel pins. Next, uh, this is not only in the 1 to 2 taper kit. This mount removal tool has been around be from before. Uh, many doctors do not know they exist, so that's why I'm introducing them. In hard bone, after installation of pre-mounted fixture with over torque, sometimes the pre-mount cannot be released. Uh, it is getting impacted and jammed with the fixture, so the pre-mount screw can be loosened as uh, in diagram number one. Uh, there is a long axis beneath the screw. If you insert it in a clockwise direction, uh, the mount can be easily removed without affecting the stability of the fixture. Uh, some people do not uh, know the existence of this, therefore I'm introducing that. One to two drilling uh, taper kits drilling sequence. As I said before, one to two taper kit 
Drilling sequence can be used for uh, any bone, soft, normal, or hard bones uh, to obtain an uh, optimal initial stability. For example, 4.5 taper body fixture TS3 uh, diameter 4.5 is to be placed in normal bone. Uh, the nominal drill has the same diameter. 4.5 drill can be used as the final drill. But if you find the bone quality is rather poor in the soft bone, 4.5 fixture can be placed with the 4.0 uh, taper drill as the final drill. If you find the bone is rather hard, then, for example, to place a 4.5 fixture one size bigger than that, uh, that means 5.0 taper drill can be used as the final drill to obtain uh, the optimal initial torque. So this is a brief drilling sequence diagram. If you want to place 4.5 diameter TS3 fixture at the top in soft bone, the initial drilling is done with the side cut drill and one step smaller size 4.0 taper drill can be used before placing the fixture in normal bone. Initial drilling is done by the side cut drill and you can go directly to 4.5 drill but 1 to 2 taper drill 3.5 can be used in the middle. Initial drilling is done by the side cut drill and the two more drilling can be uh, enough to place the fixture. In hard bone, side cut drill is used for initial drilling. 3.5 uh, taper drill is used before 5.0 uh, taper drill is used. So regardless of the bone quality, uh, initial drilling plus two more drilling can be enough to get the optimal insertion torque. This is designed to accommodate the convenience to the doctors. After the fixture placement, we need to verify the stability of the fixture. ISQ values are measured uh, using the OSTEL machine. The micromobility of the fixture is used as the index. Resonance frequency is used to measure the value. The values range 1 through 100. In general, 70 or over uh, is considered to be high stability. Immediate loading can be done in that case. So this is uh, one of the verification tools. In the hands-on, after the placement of the fixture, ISQ values will be measured. Uh, and we are going to show you the optimal results from the 1 to 2 taper kit in the hands on section. So let me talk about the hands-on practice. In this hands-on practice, we have prepared the artificial bone blocks, soft bone, normal bone, and hard bone blocks. The nominal drill, 4.5 millimeter final drill is used to place the fixture in normal bone first. Uh, then, one size bigger or one size smaller drills will be used to place the same fixture to compare the ISQ values. In soft bone, one size smaller drill and uh, in hard bone, one size bigger drill will be used as the final drill to place the fixture to see the ISQ values. I will show you how the 1 to 2 tape kit is optimized for the tapered fixtures through this hands-on. After that, uh, I will actually mount them on this model made by Austin. This is a number 46 single missing case. Uh, 5.0 by 10 millimeter TS3 fixture will be placed. As you can see, the initial drilling is done by the side cut drill. After that, parallel pin is used to check the angulation and the position. Uh, 3.5 taper drill is used and um, checking is done again. 5.0 taper drill is used. So three drillings is used to place a fixture. Let's have a look at it. Yeah.
From now, Dr. Steve Easy hands-on practices to be done. The fixture size is 4.5 by 10 mm TS3. First 4.5 mm fixture, therefore nominal 4.5 drill is to be used. First, as I said before, the side cut drill is mounted to be used as an initial drill. The laser marking is 10 mm, therefore it will be driven up to 10 mm deep. So the side cut drill is used as an initial drill. After that, as I said before, the tape portion of the parallel pin is inserted. The path of the drill can be checked. Parallel pin is removed. Diameter 3.5 by 10 millimeter drill is used. Three point five drill is driven. The tapered portion of the parallel pin is inserted. The drill path can also be checked. After that, the nominal drill diameter four point five drill is used for the drilling. Four point five drill is used. After the initial drill. 3.5 and 4.5 drills are used, so two drillings have been completed. Now we are switching to the placement mode. The mount driver is connected. The fixture 4.5 diameter by 10 millimeter pre-mount type is um, placed. Now it stopped, doesn't go in any further. It is one millimeter under drilled using the hand wrench. Finally, the final portion of the placement is being done. It is one millimeter under placed and the insertion torque is uh, 30 newton centimeter. Conventional method using the lens drill and 2.2 twist drill are to be used. This is the lens drill. The drill indentation is made. Next, 2.2 twist drill uh, is used for the initial drilling. This is a conventional approach. After the twist drill, the square portion, the flat portion of the parallel drill is inserted to check the drilling path. And the guide pin is removed. Next, 3.5 twist drill is used for the drilling. 3.5 is used for the drilling. After that, one size is smaller. The nominal, which is 4.0 drill, is used. Likewise, final drill is 4.0. Uh, the torque would be excessive. Let me place it just to show you. Now it doesn't go in any further. The fixture um, is not placed up to the top. In this case, uh, it should be removed and uh, we have to go through one more step, but uh, the torque is excessive, but let me place it. So the insertion torque is quite excessive. Next, one size bigger than the nominal drill, 5.0 drill is used. As I said before, the side cut drill is used as an initial drill. So it will be drilled up to the depth of 10 millimeters.
As I said before, the guide pin, the tapered portion is inserted to check the path. Next, 35 by 10 tapered drill is used. And we go directly to 5.0, not using 4.0 or 4.5. The drill's cutting efficiency is very good. So one size bigger than the nominal drill is used. Likewise, 4.5 by 10 millimeter fixture is placed. The drill hole is rather deep and it is placed like this. If you check the insertion torque for 5.0, the initial stability is not very high, 20, compared to when nominal drill was used. Now pre-mount is removed. When you remove the mount, if the stability is not very good, uh, hold the mount with the open wrench and you can unscrew. Now it's removed. And also removed for 5.0. Now uh, three fixtures are placed. Let's measure the ISQ values of each. like this to measure the hostel smart packs are inserted when hostel beacon is lifted up like this the power is switched on automatically the nominal drill 4.5 the measurement is about 74 ISQ value and the green light comes on. Final drill 4.0. The value is 79 and the stability is much higher. Also, the green light comes on. The stability is pretty good. The final drill 5.0, one size bigger than the nominal size, ISQ value is 64, orange light comes on, it's lower than 70, that means 4.5 by 10 millimeter, three fixtures are placed in normal bone, final drill was 4.0, 4.5 and 5.0, when the nominal 4.5 drill is used, the, the uh, best ISQ value was obtained, uh, excessive torque at 4.0 and 5.0 gave uh, a little poor stability value based on the ISQ values. So it is drilled to the depth of 10 millimeters. Guide pin is inserted to check the path. 3.5 diameter fixture it is drilled. 4.5 is drilled. Now, the bone quality is poor, the engine um, doesn't stop, stability, initial stability is about a little bit over 10 newton centimeter. Guide pin is inserted, the path is checked. 3.5 is drilled, now up to 
this is a soft bone. As you can see, the torque value is less than 10 Newton centimeters. As was recommended, to place 4.5 by 10, the drilling is done up to 4.5. The side cut drill is used for the initial drilling. The guide pin is inserted to check the path. Three point five diameter paper drill is used for the drilling. In the one size smaller for this soft bone, four point zero is used for the drilling. Four point zero drilling is done. Likewise, the fixture is placed. Now it is being placed. The drill is one size smaller on the soft bone, so it is easily inserted using the hand wrench. Let's check the initial stability. As you can see, ISQ values will be checked. 4.5 drill gives 62 ISQ value and 4.0 drill the value is a 67, a little bit higher than before, but still it's weak. For 5.0, it is a 60. Now let me drill. Guide pin is inserted to check the path. Four point five. As you can see it with a nominal drill in hard bone, it doesn't go in easily. Now using the hand wrench. A little bit of excessive torque could be applied to place the implant. The torque is rather excessive. Now it will be placed at 5.0. Two point two initial drill is used, and then three point five. So I will use the three point five. It will be too much torque if you do four point zero. Once again, parallel is checked using the guide pin. Five point zero drill is used for the drilling. Up to 5.0 drill is used. Now fixture is placed. It's a hard bone, so the torque is rather excessive. As you can see, initial torque is 40 Newton centimeters. On hard bone, nominal 4.5 drill is used. The excessive torque is experienced, so it is meaningless to try 4.0. The mount is removed to measure the ISQ value. To use the removal kit, okay. 
The screw is removed. Mount removal is uh, inserted in the clockwise rotation using the torque wrench. The mount is easily removed. Let's measure the ISQ value at 4.5. It's about 80 in hard bone. It is 76. One size big 5.0 when 4.5 fixture is uh, placed, 76 an appropriate ISQ value is obtained. Up to now, soft normal hard bone blocks have been used to place implants. 4.5 fixture is placed, 4.5 drill is used. Under drilling, for soft bone and one wider, one step wider drill is used for the hard bone. And initial stability and ISQ values are measured. In normal bone, when normal drill is used, the ISQ value is 74 and 4.0 drill 79 and 5.0 drill 64. So in normal bone, when nominal drill 4.5 is used, the desired initial stability is obtained. In soft bone, the value is a little low. Actually, with the nominal drill 4.5, the ISQ is about 62. Um, with the 4.0 drill, uh, the bone quality is poor, so it's 67, and it is 60 when 5.0 drill is used, so stability is better when 4.0 is used. In hard bone, we did not use a 4.0 drill due to the excessive torque. With the nominal drill 4.5, the uh, ISQ is 80 with uh, excessive stability, so the torque level is high. Um, at 5.0, the ISQ value was 76. Relatively ideal initial stability was obtained. On the model, 5.0 mm wide and 10 mm long TS3 fixture will be placed. The initial drill is side cut drill. The position is number 46. It will go in 10 mm and the guide pin is inserted relation with the opposing teeth is checked the central groove and functional cusp have been checked guide pin is removed 3.5 by 10 tapered drill is used for the drilling like this after 3.5, once again, guide pin is used to check the path of the drilling. And occlusion is checked. After checking the position, 5.0 tapered drill is used for the final drilling. We assume it's normal bone matching the 5.0, the implant is placed, 5.0, it is placed, the initial stability is about 30 newton centimeters. The final insertion torque is 30 newton centimeters. Smart peg is mounted. ISQ value is measured. 
70, so the stability that we want has been achieved. This concludes the hands-on of today. During the hands-on, we looked at how to use the 1 to 2 taper kit. We received some questions. The first question, when we place the fixture, the bone quality was not identified correctly, so insertion of fixture cannot progress any further. Excess torque occurred. How do we deal with that? If you're used to place straight body implants before and want to place the TS3 or taper fixtures, and the bone turns out to be harder than you expected, excessive torque can occur, and the fixture cannot be inserted any further. If you're forced to insert it with a hand wrench, especially on the marginal bone at the top, excessive compression can occur. In this case, I think you need to remove the fixture place boldly. After that, use the drill one size bigger than the nominal drill to widen the drill hole. Then you will be able to place the fixture without big difficulties. Next question. This is about the difference between the straight versus tapered drills. Straight drills were developed in the past for the straight body fixtures. Uh, of course, uh, some people still use it, and uh, so have I. Until recently, you can use the old straight drill to place the new taper type fixtures without problems, but the one to two taper kit is especially designed and optimized. If you use a multi-step drill, it is much easier to use and the number of drilling is reduced. When you use the straight drills and move to a bigger drill, the pilot drill is used, but this is not necessary with this kit with less drilling sequence. The taper drills in, in the 1 to 2 taper drill have very good cutting efficiency, easier to use, and they are designed to obtain optimal insertion torque. This is more comfortable for you to use the 1 to 2 taper kit. Next question. 485 kit is the question. As I briefly explained before, 485 kit is for the posterior mandible, where residual alveolar bone is low in height and short implants are selected often. We used to do bone augmentation to place longer implants, but lately short implants are placed a lot too. So the kit is optimized for the short implants. The tip of the tapered drill is not very sharp, like a cast drill of ostem to protect the inferior alveolar nerve. Regarding the 485 kit, I will have another opportunity to explain it. Up to now, wanted to taper kit, hands-on, and Q&A have been delivered. Easy hands-on's first lecture. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Through the doctor's tip, easy hands-on, uh, various uh, surgical kits and various uh, topics uh, will be provided, including a simple lecture and hands-on, so that you can have a better understanding of what have been provided by OSTEM. Thank you very much for your listening.